Hi brothers and sisters in Christ. Today I have a very interesting video for you guys. I'm going to be talking to you about uh, an experience I had with two Mormons and one Muslim. Two different experiences and I'm going to be talking to you about how the experience was so similar while at the same time it was so different. And But before I do, like always, I want to encourage you guys to go down to the comment section of any of my videos. For example, this video titled Muslim Men Died, Met Jesus and Then Converted Supernatural Testimony. If you go down to the comment section, you'll see that I uploaded a long comment with evidence for Christianity. So if you're not a Christian and or if you're a skeptic, please examine the evidence I present and let me know what you think. If you are a Christian, I also encourage you guys to read this evidence and please spread this. You can print it out and give it to people or you can post it on social media. If you want the printable version of this comment, in the description box of this video, I'll include a link to, uh, I'll include a Dropbox link that has the printable version and from there you can print it out or save it to your computer and pr and when you just print it out the comments should print nicely on one sheet of paper also in the description box of all my videos I have a message about the end times the rapture fulfilled Bible prophecy things of that nature please read that also check that out also now getting on to my encounters with the Muslim and the two Mormons so the first encounter that happened was with the Muslim man and we were talking, we were di dialoguing about religion and the Bible, things like that. And then I realized that the conversation was really going nowhere because I wasn't, I wasn't able to convert him. So I told him, I told him, look, I told him that, look, God gave me visions about the rapture and God revealed himself to me. And I told him, if the rapture happens and you get left behind, will you convert to Christianity? And just right there, he's like, yeah, I'll convert, like, like straight up. Like, as, as soon as I said it, he's like, for sure, if the rapture happens, if the rapture is true and, and he gets left behind and the Christians get taken, and he's, he's going to convert pretty much. So I'm like, okay, great. And then I, we just shook hands and I left pretty much. And then a similar encounter happened when there was these two Mormon guys and I was dialoguing with them. I was trying to show that, look, I was trying to show the Mormons how, look, um, just traditional Christianity is true. I was trying to show him my side of my evidence for Christianity and the objections I brought up to Mormonism. They couldn't really address it. Um, so they're pretty much that that conversation was pretty much going nowhere also. And. And so I and I remembered I remember that I asked the Muslim man earlier. Well, this wasn't on the same day. It was there was a couple of days, like between the two incidents, there was a couple of days. So, and I remember that I asked the Muslim, I'm like, I, I remember that I asked him if the rapture happens, will, will you convert? And the Muslim said, yeah, he will convert. And I, I told the same thing about the Mormons. I'm like, if the rapture happens and the Christians get taken, and if you get left behind, will you convert to Christianity? And they were, and they were just so like hesitant to give me an answer. They were like. Um, I don't mean to judge them. I don't want to accuse them of sin because that's not what, what what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to be a loving person and I showed love to the Mormons and they showed love to me, right? But they were hesitant. They're like, we don't really believe in the rapture and well, they don't really believe in, in the Christian version of the rapture, I think the guy said. Um, so they were hesitant. They didn't really want to give me an answer and so pretty much they're telling me that no, that if the rapture happens and the Christians get taken and they get left behind, they're pretty much trying to tell me that no, we're not going to convert to Christianity, that they're going to remain Mormons. And to me, that shocked me because if a Muslim, I mean, the Muslim could have told me that, oh, we don't believe in the rapture or the rapture is not in the Quran and things like that. But the Muslim just straight up told me if the rapture happens and I get left behind, I'm going to convert like 100%. But the Mormons, they were being hesitant and, and that just, to me, that's like very strange because I mean, like any logical person, if, if they knew about the rapture and I mean, it's just simple logic. If, if you know about the rapture, the rapture happens and you get left behind and while some Christians get taken, the saved born again Christians get taken and you realize you were left behind, why wouldn't you convert? So to me, that was strange that, um, to me, that, that's very strange how someone could say, um, look, even if the rapture happens, I'm going to remain a Mormon because, because of this, because of that. So 
I just I I, I want to know what you guys think. Do you think that what do you guys think about this incident? I mean, if a Muslim will convert if the rapture happens and they get left behind, why wouldn't the Mormon? You know, so to me, like I'm pondering, like what could be the reason that they gave me that answer? But I have some conclusions, but I don't want to judge them, so I'm not gonna. I'm really get into that. So let me let me guys let me know what you guys think. And if you're a Muslim, if you're a Mormon, and you're watching this. I ask you the same question: If the rapture happens and the saved Christians get taken, and if you get left behind, will you convert? So that's my question to you. And all glory to God, like always. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.